Hey guys, I'm Claire the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I want to talk about a really important issue, and that is cleaning your fiddly fig. And we will dive deep on the different reasons and methods for how to clean your fiddle and why it's important. Now, as a fiddly fig owner, you probably know it's really important to take care of your plant when it comes to watering, fertilizing, repotting, pruning, things like that. But what's equally important that a lot of people overlook is cleaning your plant. The reason is your plant cannot do photosynthesis if it's dirty because photosynthesis requires that they absorb sunlight from the leaves themselves. So if they're coated in a thin layer of dust, they cannot absorb sunlight, which is really, really bad. The other thing is they can't do transpiration, which is where they release water vapor and they also release gases. So if they are covered with dust or dirt, it's really hard for them to basically off gas and do transpiration. So on two levels, it's important to keep your fiddle leaf fig very clean so that it can do photosynthesis and run its metabolism and release the materials that it needs to release and be happy and healthy and also to look good. You know, nothing looks good covered in dust, whether it's your car or your fiddly fig. So you're gonna wanna keep it clean for its health and its aesthetic. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you consider how to clean your fiddly fig is ask yourself how big is your plant and how dirty is your plant. If your plant is really small and it's not that dirty, super easy to clean. But if your plant's very big and it's very dirty, you're gonna wanna make some decisions about what's the best way to clean it. I'll talk about some of the pros and cons. So I would say if your plant is small enough that you can easily move it, probably the best and the safest way to clean it is to put it in the bathtub and to spray it off in the shower using room temperature water. You don't want it to be too hot and you don't want it to be too cold because both of these can really disrupt and shock your plant. So you're gonna wanna make sure your water is room temperature and spray off your entire plant, making sure to get all of the dust off your plant. Throughout any of these cleaning methods, if you're noticing that you have a white residue on your plant that's not coming off, this waxy kind of residue, that is called buildup or residue. I have a whole video on how to remove that. You're gonna wanna remove that before you move forward with any other plant care. And that's basically something that the growers put onto your plant that can be hard to remove, but I have three different methods for how to remove that residue, so check out that video. So the easiest way is you put it in the shower, you spray it off and you make sure that it's clean and that it looks good. Let it dry a little bit in the shower before you move it back to its original location. If your plant is a little bit on the bigger side and you can't lift it into the shower, one of my favorite things to do is just push it outside on a sunny day. I actually have under my large fiddly figs, I have these roller plant caddies. So it's basically a little roller caddy that you put your fiddle leaf fig on top of permanently and you can roll it around your house or you can roll it outside. That way you can get it outside and you can really just hose it down and make sure you know you get the whole leaves, you get all the dust off, make sure it looks really, really clean. One thing to look out for here that I've made this mistake so many times is I roll my plant out in the morning, I hose it off and then I forget about it and the sun comes and burns my plant. So do not leave it out over the afternoon because the sun can sunburn your plant and it can really harm your plant. Set yourself a timer, maybe give it a half hour or an hour to dry in the morning before you roll it back in and make sure it's protected. That's my favorite way to clean a really big fiddly fig is to roll it outside and to hose it off and just clean it off with the hose. And that way, you know, you give it a half hour to dry off, you roll it back inside, you're not getting your house dirty and your plant's really gonna enjoy the experience and come out really, really clean. If you have a plant that is so big that you can't move, then you're gonna wanna think about dusting your plant. The downside of dusting is it's hard to get it really, really clean clean and it's very time intensive. The other thing I don't like about dusting is you run the risk of harming your plant by basically mechanically moving your leaves. You can bruise them, you can tear them, you just need to be really gentle and it's kind of hard to be that gentle if you have a large plant. Another thing I really don't like about this method is it's messy. You know, as you're spraying off your plant, it's dripping dirty water onto the ground. So you're gonna wanna protect your floors and basically what you do is you get a clean microfiber cloth. Depending on how dirty your plant is and how big it is, you may need Need several cloths. You're gonna to wanna to spray it just with clean, plain, room temperature water. Spray the whole plant and then wipe it with your microfiber cloth and get all of the dust off. If your plant is super dirty, it may take one to two times of repeating the process to get it really, really clean. When you're dusting your plant, you're gonna to wanna to avoid the new growth. They can be very, very velvety and thin leaves. And also they're not gonna be that dirty because they haven't existed that long. So just don't do really, really new growth that's very tender. You're just going to wanna to dust off the mature, healthy leaves so that you're not harming any of the new growth. So depending on how dirty your plant is and how big it is, you basically wanna figure out what's the easiest way for you to clean it and get it really, really clean. And then do that method, whatever works for you, whatever you find is easy and not too cumbersome so that you're able to clean off your plant on a regular basis, maybe quarterly, at least twice a year, at the very, very least once a year to make sure that your plant can be healthy and that it's not accumulating too much dust. 
As you clean your plant, it's important to look out for common issues with your plant. So are you losing leaves? If you pull on a leaf, does it just fall off? Are there insects on your plant? Are there spiders? Are there spider mites? Are there any sort of holes in your leaves? So it's just a great time to kind of take a look at your plant and figure out if there's any problems and if there's anything you need to do to address those problems. Okay, so no matter which of the methods that you used, once your plant is sparkling clean, you have a big decision to make. There are two types of people in this world. One of them is they like sort of the natural gloss of a natural leaf. The other is a person that likes a shiny leaf. And so after your plant is clean, you have the opportunity to protect your leaves with a spray. There are two types of sprays that I love. One gives a natural luster and the other gives a leaf shine. Both of the products that we make have really good benefits to your plant. So both of them deter insects, fungus, and bacteria. The other thing they do is they help your plant to retain more of its moisture and its humidity so that it keeps your plant healthier in the long term. And then the third thing, or maybe the most important thing, is it keeps your plant clean for the long term. So it's almost like waxing your car. It creates this sort of like surface of your plant that the dirt doesn't stick to. So your plant stays better looking, clean, and healthier in the long run. So depending on what type of fiddle leaf fig owner you are, you're going to want to pick either our Leaf Armor product, which gives that natural luster, so it looks like the most natural finish of a plant, or our Leaf Shine product. And this is a product that I really love. It has all of the benefits to protect your plant, but it also gives a very shiny luster, so it just depends, it's up to you. You know, sometimes I go back and forth on these depending on how I'm feeling, but I know a lot of people feel strongly whether they want a shiny leaf or a more natural looking leaf. So once your plant's clean, you wanna protect it, and then basically set yourself a reminder for maybe a quarter or six months or a year from now to do the process again. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope your fiddly fig is spick and span. Please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.